good day. A lot of us are now encountering difficulties. A lot of people experience having difficulty with regards to their supplies. Sometimes they lack food supplies. That's their big problem. But if you have faith in God, you just trust Him because He's going to provide you with what you need. See? Just pray. Thank you, Lord, for giving Jesus Christ your son for us. And please provide me with my need. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And, oh, I got a can of sardines, noodles, and coffee. What I'm showing you is just a visual illustration. In Philippians 4.19, he gives the liberating promise of future grace. My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The Israelites escaped captivity in Egypt, only to face the challenges of the desert. One of the biggest challenges for such a large group of nomads was enough food to feed them. But God's supply is limitless. It never runs out. Over and over again, God provided supernaturally for His people. If God could provide for many thousands of Israelites in the, imagine, in the middle of a desert, He can surely provide for you and for your family. God provide us with steady supply of goods. Isn't that wonderful? Here's the good news. If you remain faithful to God, God will be faithful to you and He will provide you your needs. Not just financial needs, emotional needs, physical needs, and more importantly, your spiritual needs. There are a few pointers that I want you to take note of. First, God can provide your needs. We serve a great God, and He is my God. He's the source of all the supply. God isn't a miser. And he gives out of his abundant riches. It's an endless abundant supply. Yes, God has a limitless supply of resources. Never out of stock, never out of supplies. He can provide you according to your needs. Take note, he can provide you according to your needs and not your greeds. God is not a genie that when uh, we rub it, every time we need something, but he loves to meet our needs. God loves to meet our needs. And he doesn't limit it to some, but to all our needs. God hasn't promised to meet our needs, but our needs. One of the precious testimonies of Scripture is, I have been young, and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for food. That's in Psalm 37, 25. I remember when I was a student before, I'm taking up master law. No enough funds. And on that day, I'm supposed to pay my tuition fee. Actually, I don't have money. I said, Lord, what shall I do? I know this is the day that I had to pay. And in a little while, staff from the office went to our classroom and said, Mr. Sarandaya, you are needed in the office. Can you go there now? I said, here it goes. What shall I say? I don't have any money. And I was told, Mr. Sarangaya, it's about your tuition fee. And I said, oh yes, I know. I'm supposed to say, I don't have any money. But you know what? The director told me, somebody paid for your tuition fee. I said, what? I said, yes. And I said, can I know his name? No, no need to know his name. But God provided somebody to pay for your tuition fee. See, and also, after several years when I'm already uh, working, but this time I don't have enough money, I'm so hungry, and I was walking. I said, I passed by a, a fast food area and I saw this uh, tarpaulin. Wow, good looking food. I said, how oh, I wish I had money to have that lunch, but I don't have any money. So uh, while I was walking, 
somebody approached me and said, Hey, Ernie, is that you? I said, I said yes. I said, can we have some few talks? I want to talk to you. I said, sure. Where? And he said, over there. We can also have a lunch. I'm going to take care of the lunch. Imagine, huh? And you know what good thing is? The food that I saw, I just said, I like the food. It's the same food that guy ordered for me. God provides. One point I want you to take note is, God's provision is always on time. Never late. It may not work out on your timetable, but it definitely works on God's perfect timetable. Learn to be patient and wait. Another illustration I'd like to share to you. One time where we were having this school and I gave up cash ready for, for paying the bills, the materials, and I have a due date to pay, and something went wrong. The money I was expecting to pay for the bills did not come through. And I said, where shall I get money to pay all those bills? Then I, I, I prayed until somebody called me. It's from the television show and said, Bernie, uh, can we invite you in our show? Huh? It's a game show. Oh, I said, yes, I'm sure. And it's a game show. And to make this story short, I won. Yes. And the money was provided by the Lord and I used to pay the bills. Never late, always on time. God will provide your needs the way He sees right. No need to worry. Just pray and trust Him. His provisions are on the way. The reason that it hadn't reached you yet is probably there's still something you need to learn. Something you have to change. Seek His will and surrender your will to Him. Another point I want you to remember is give thanks for God's provision. Going back to the Israelites, but even with God's supernatural provision, the Israelites still complained and grumbled in the desert. They longed for the food they left behind in Egypt. God is literally providing bread from heaven, enough for each day. But they wanted it in their own way. So instead of thanking God, they complained and even grumbled. Check yourselves. Are you complaining and grumbling instead of giving thanks? Are you complaining that your weekly meals is an option between canned sardines and noodles? God will provide for you in whatever way He seems fit. Don't grumble against God's supernatural unexplained ways. God will provide differently than we expect. Because God knows exactly what we need and He is more than able to provide. His task is to provide our needs. Ours is to receive and give thanks. Have you thought about how God provided your needs during these times? When everything's not normal? When you're out of work, out of cash, and you have to rely on God's provision? Have you sincerely thanked God? Take time to thank Him for all His provisions and protections to you and your family.